Hello everyone, I am Chris Falco and I am the storyteller for Exalted vs. World of Darkness Pentex. I am storytelling for... Uh, Andrew, I play Mason Field, the Doncast Solar. Peter as Dolores Star, the Heart Eater. And uh, Nick playing as Henry Temple, uh, the Infernal Exalted. Alright, so... Who wants to try and recall what happened last time we played? Uh, All right. Yeah, it, was <laughs> it was a normal day at the office, and nothing That's right. untoward happened. That's exactly. right. Exactly. All right. So, um, as you'll recall, you all were in the early stages of exalting, more or less. Um, and by early stages, I mean one of you was. So it was, yes, an average, ordinary day at the office um, with Henry inside a terrible infernal chrysalis, um, which, you know, some Magdon employees decided they should use to try and pump up a Bane. And it worked all too well because they actually created a Nexus crawler or some approximation thereof, which began to melt and destroy the office. And in doing so, our first team officer, Mason, um, was the only one of the security detail that stayed to fight. And in doing so, he managed to exalt as a solar. Um, Dolores was working in the mailroom when, you know, a special package got knocked over, which contained the bones of a previous heart eater, which exalted her. And, well, Henry was an infernal by the time he broke out of that chrysalis. Um, you yep. all managed to easily kill the Nexus Crawler, which is normally an endgame thing. Um, and then you were more or less debriefed by the first, I guess the second team would be what you'd call the ones that got there next. Management, I think, would be the word. I mean, the rest of the first team did sort of stay they left their mortal coil right i mean yeah their bodies were there kind of you know part of it got mutated and probably taken into the crawler's body and stuff like that but yes as the external first team got there you were debriefed and given a week off uh during which time henry did a bit of research into himself and the details that Magadon had on him. Uh, Dolores learned a little bit about how to heart eater, and Mason uh, talked to his mentor and learned that they might be sort of kind of semi related to houses of elemental blooded creatures that used to exist. Um, and then we left off with you all being about to start in Magadon, or in Magadon's new office in the next week. Um, however, instead of doing that, like as you're walking in, we're actually going to do a flashback because you all wanted to visit a bar just beforehand. And so we're going to visit a bar. Um, so the one that you all end up, you know, just sort of congregating at is called Scoundrels, and it's in the northern part of Las Vegas. There you go. There's a random picture. Um, oh. And let's get oh. some ambience going. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, it didn't load for some reason. Now it has. Perfect. Uh -huh. Very blurry TV. <laughs> is this normal <laughs> yes because of all the smoke yeah. oh absolutely oh yeah mm -hmm. smoke. 100%. I don't can you smoke inside in bars in Nevada maybe uh, we can just say it's true It. this is one of those bars where like you're not supposed to but no one's actually going to say anything to you if you do it in the corner um so, yeah, it's, you know, it's, uh, I guess it's probably Sunday since you were given a, you know, the full week off and this would be the day before you actually, why am I hearing beeping and 
a background that's supposed to be a fucking lounge. I think that's just you. I don't hear it, so. Yeah, I don't hear it. Okay. I'm just going crazy, then. That's fine. It can be the sound of... If, if it is showing up, it's the sound of people playing games on their cell phones. Or playing the digital slots that are, of course, in the background, because it's Las Vegas, so there has to be. Um, yes, as you can see, there is smudges on the TV. Uh, playing. <laughs> yes. Right. Probably sports, if I know my bars very well. Yes, it is uh, sports, and the teams are both going very fast. Uh, so it all looks yes. like uh, really, really fast. Yeah. Yes. The yeah. horse sports, the ones you bet on. Exactly. <laughs> so. so, Mason will walk in, you know, in his civilian clothing, which you know is just probably jeans and a t-shirt. Well, it's probably what, what season is it? I know Nevada's warm, but um, jeans and a That's that's pretty much all seasons. I don't think we actually gave you a start date, did we? Oh. There are people that wear sweatshirts at like fucking 100 degree weather. Well, and well somehow survive. I don't. Yeah, I mean, actually, given that it's Nevada, it might just be a t-shirt, no matter what. Yeah, <laughs> I was, I was gonna say, yeah, no matter what, it's, you know, it's warm. It's, it's warm a dry season. <laughs> it is not the two weeks of slightly cold that they probably yeah. get. <laughs> Summer and the other season, yeah. Right. <laughs> Summer and slight break from summer. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, and unless you guys are there, he'll play him at table, I guess. And then maybe text Henry, whose phone number I probably have, and say, I'm here. Perfect. Uh, I will arrive, like, two minutes later. Um, probably haven't been to this particular bar before. Uh, no, I'll, I'll go sit uh, with my pal, my new pal, my new friend. Uh, uh -huh. Friend, yes. <laughs> yeah, the orders arrives on time, and you know, there's some you know fruity cocktail, and yeah. <laughs> yes, as we all know, solars and infernals get along like water and more water. Yeah. And more water. Exactly. That's right. Yes. <laughs> Indistinguishable. Exactly. Like hot oil and water. Pretty much the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Uh, I'm just gonna order like a, a cider. Um, All right. Very slowly sipping it, waiting for, you know. Yeah. Everyone just kind of settle in. You get basically this bar's cider. Like you order a cider, they don't ask for specifics. They just give you a bottle that kind that probably had a label once, but it doesn't right now. <laughs> oh Jesus, that's wow. Okay. I mean, it's it's not like it's not like a dive, but it's Halfway they, there. they don't care. <laughs> they don't care if they end up a dive. <laughs> right, when I see that, when I see that bottle, I decide not to go with the mozzarella sticks. And uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's a shame because they're on sale. Yeah, but <laughs> regret purchase anyway. <laughs> <laughs> So Ooh, I guess uh... hmm? Mason will Mason will look over at Henry and be like, "So what'd you learn?" Uh, basically, it's um, kind of looks around a little bit just just in case. Like he, he's probably not gonna see any faces that he knows, but like, real paranoid right now. Um, and he'll he'll turn back to to Mason, kind of quietly say, "It's a uh, way worse than I initially thought." It's all the way down. Real bad. Okay. On purpose. That's... Poisoning. That's... It. Okay, not great. Have you, like, played with your, you know, thing? Have you learned anything about yourself? Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah. Um... Uh, yes watch okay i'm going to just gesture over to like the bar i'm sure there's at least a few people like sitting at the uh like sitting on stools yeah there's uh, a few people I'm... sitting on stools there's a bartender there's a small group of tougher looking folks off in one booth 
I'm um, just kind of glaring at everyone just to be that way. <laughs> of course. Um, all of a sudden, one of their cell phones is going to ring. And then the next person, like like the next stool over, and then the third stool over, but not more than that. Mm. Just in a row. As I'm looking vaguely over in that direction. And I'll turn back to Mason <laughs> and say, um, I, I, some kind of a superpowers? Like, not just, you know, things human beings can do. Um, it's a, it's, it's, it's a little weird. I don't feel like I've been radio, you know, got like radiation poisoning. I can't turn into the Hulk. Um, obviously, but the I can. People whose phones rings uh, uh, try to check their phone and then see that there's not actually anything there and then they worry they're going crazy. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so I, I I don't really know exactly what's going on other than uh, it, it feels good bad. Good like, bad. Uh, okay, that's weird. Yeah, uh, well, like it doesn't like hurt, but like I can I can really tell it's um. Uh. Apocalyptic. See, that sounds real weird. I'm not religious. Um, I don't know how else to kind of explain it. I mean, that how was, about you? Uh, well, I'll note that was the same word they used to describe the hideous beast monster. But, uh, so, yeah, uh, I talked to some people that I happen to know, and they mentioned that they've never heard of anything remotely like this ever before. There are stories of, like, okay... I shit you not, but they're like airbenders or something. Like the cartoon. And, uh... What? It, hey, that's just what they tell me. I, supposedly they used to exist, but don't anymore. I, I don't know. But... Okay, yeah, sure. Alright, yeah, right, totally. Apparently, so, so this guy claimed that airbenders used to be real, and would also have weird burning auras like we've got. Well, like what? Did the Fire Nation attack? Is that is that why they're not around anymore? I, I don't know, like, that, okay. that was, that's, I basically told you everything I was told, that, like, the only people, so, so, okay, so apparently everything has this, like, aura of chi around them, I can't see that, we'll go into that later, but other people can see them, and ours apparently are on fire, and they're on fire so hot that sometimes you can just regular see them. I got that to work, by the way. Uh, what do you mean, like, the, the glowy... The, the yeah, glow? You, I at least can just turn it on and then off again. Oh, you can turn it off. Yeah. Well, like I mean, entirely? It, it, no, no, it goes like invisible. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's kind of what. Yeah, I can't do that. Oh. Not yeah. Uh. Yeah. Well, I was getting a little bit paranoid. Like, oh, so you mean people can see us? Can they know we're weird? I really hope not. That wouldn't be good. <laughs> That'd be a huge fucking problem. I mean, right. the shit on the down low. Yeah. So, so like, as for my supernatural powers, you know, I've always been, you know, a fit guy, but now I'm performing at Olympic levels, and uh, I tried some of the like chi exercises that my friend was talking about, and uh, I saw ghosts. Oh, yeah, all right, that's, all right, that's cool. So there are ghosts, or are you just seeing things? This hallucinations. Um, I mean, the monster wasn't a hallucination. Right. No. And also, so okay, I can look in two different dimensions, places. I don't know. One is full of ghosts, and one is kind of empty, but occasionally has really weird stuff in it. Uh. So and oh, and also like certain places glow like uh -huh. yeah not quite sure what i'm seeing there uh i think it's some kind of like spiritual power or something which okay. does not have like m religious connotations necessary like none of the churches glow it's all just various places oh oh uh did you remember the patient of also herbal like you know incense um, it's just high. 
More like Chernobyl, but yeah. No. I mean, it looks healthier in most cases than Chernobyl. Like, it's not like, oh, but there's, you know, like the weird shimmers or whatever they reported, like, like that. I don't even know what to fucking say to that. Uh, that's that's some weird superpowers you have there. Be really Being really uh, buff and seeing ghosts. I mean, I was just trying to, like, see if I could spot, you know, auras, right? Like, you know, my friend could just, oh, move chi into your eyes and so on and so forth. And, uh, yeah, no, that happened instead. D Dolores, do you have any, um... You lit up, like, the, the northern lights a bit? It's really pretty. I mean... It I look as much like fire. I try not to do that. That's, like, very noticeable. It's like... Oh, yeah. You know. Have you been uh, testing? I don't know. Do you do you have soup? Do you have superpowers, or can you just glow? It seems like it's like you know. I don't think I possibly saw someone that she wouldn't even know that all that much about it. Like, like no, I had just like really bad dreams the last week. I barely could sleep anything. So I don't know maybe some fumes for their office just. Set everything off, or I don't know. Ah, uh, shit. Maybe I don't. That could be, I guess. I mean, there was lots of smoke and green fire and everything. That doesn't sound healthy. That sounds like you know, carbon monoxide poisoning. I mean, okay, but I'm... maybe the, maybe the weird monster did something, and like it was flailing around aimlessly, and maybe it did something to us, and that's why we got like shit. Superpowers, yeah. They... yeah. But, but why are mine, like, kind of, uh, or at least they feel kind of, uh, fucky? <laughs> don't know. I don't think anyone knows anything. Yeah. Although, you know, we'll see what they find out, right? My friend said he'd look, in, he'd look into it. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Who's your friend again? Uh, he's a like a one of those lifelong martial artist guys who you know trains all his entire life and gets really into the spirituality and stuff uh he claim you know he's one of the folks who claims you know oh i have total control of my body and so on and so forth and i don't know he's always much better than me is he one of those shows that they put out in the casinos uh no he, he doesn't do shows no huh. no he, he teaches i mean i can introduce you if you want Uh, I mean, I don't know. He sounds like a person who's really confident in his answers, but I, I have no idea what's... Yeah, except he was really confident, like, I've never heard of anything like this ever before in my entire yeah. life. Congratulations. Yeah. So I don't know how helpful that's... I mean, all credit to your friend, whatever, uh, whatever they have going on. I mean, this. Okay, this is the thing. If we're living in like a superhero, like, does that mean like there are other secret superheroes that we don't know about? Is this how this happens? Is I mean, why else would we have the second NDA? Is is Pentex trying to? Sorry, is I, I didn't say Pentex. Macadon. Uh, is Macadon working on like making superheroes? Well, they don't call them that, but yes. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Um, right. So I they're mean... also making monsters, and I want to be really clear, like on purpose. Like I, I have the evidence. It's, it was not an accident. It was the oops. Sometimes they turn into monsters. Like, hey, let's make a monster. I mean, <laughs> so, like, well, so how monster well, are we talking, right? Because they're ta they have all this stuff about you know genetic upgrades and the new frontier of humanity and so on and so forth. And they do that. I know. This is like, you know, genetically modified livestock, like, you know, cows that give more milk and stuff. No, is it's, what the, you're talking about? it's the first teams, or some of them. They have specialized treatments to make them more powerful so they can combat the hideous beast monsters that regularly attack the offices. Yeah, I, I can't speak to any of that. Um, all I can tell you is they definitely tried to make this monster, and it was not like... 
oh, this isolated, like, g group of rogues that never really happens anyway. They got approval from, like, top down from someone. Yeah, so what what they tell what they tell us in the briefings is like you know pentax is you know the forefront of progress and technology and they're at war with like these hideous monsters that attack places you know like look a lot and they look and act a lot like werewolves that's what they tell us i don't know anyone who's survived meeting one on that oh, note, shapeshifters. Um, can you all give me a perception plus an alertness roll? Oh no. Ooh. Oh no. Alertness. Does this uh, have to do with eavesdropping? Yes. Yes, it does. Ah. You're not. You're Just not the one doing it, but <laughs> it, the specialty does apply. <laughs> okay, nine dice. That's a cast. Uh, okay. Hold on, yeah. wait, is this wits or perception in the works? Perception. What's the difficulty? Uh, six. Yeah. I should make well, it higher, but... Seven successes. Oh my god. Alrighty. Wait, should I be rolling as well? Yes, I should. Okay. <laughs> One! Well, hey, yeah. point to that. All right, so Dolores, before anyone else notices that the, you know, couple of guys I mentioned over in one of the booths is, well, one of them's just kind of like subtly looking in your direction, like you catch a glimpse here and there. One of them's just kind of staring at you, the larger of the two who has like long, dreaded hair. Um, he's just kind of glaring at you all. And the other, you know, the rest of you do notice that after, you know, a few extra moments. What's that yeah. guy's problem? I mean, this is Nevada, so who knows, right? But Well, obviously, you know, we just sent an NDA thing, so, you know, probably they're sending a team to make sure that we're not blobby about stuff in public places, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're like actually fucking physically spying on us that would be fucked up and not okay i mean you know we were working for a big pharmaceutical company and we had you know a um, work related something something so you know and we we're in a barking drunk so obviously people will be you know checking up on us we're new to this i don't think those are pentex employees Dolores. I mean, you never know. There might be an uncover. Um, <laughs> I mean, at that point, the you know the larger one who's blatantly glaring just kind of like puts his hands like you know, thing over either side of his mouth is like, uh, uh, "What the fuck are you talking about, you Magadon nerds?" How does he? What? 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 And it's worth noting, they're far enough away, and it's noisy enough in here that they shouldn't be able to eavesdrop on you with how quiet you're talking. But they are. He clearly is. <laughs> so he, like, threw his voice so, like, we could hear it? Yeah, he was basically calling across the room at you. And the best he's got is nerds? Yes. The fuck are these guys? Wow. Are you saying that out loud? <laughs> yeah. Why don't you go and ask him? <laughs> yeah, why don't you come at why don't you come ask me, asshole? I, <laughs> I look at the others. I look back over there. I look back at the others. Are they trying to fight me? I don't know. He called you a nerd? <laughs> Is this high school? Did you do you so, know this guy? No, I don't think so. I think I think they just don't know how to fucking swear. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, I don't think you can use your big boy some... words. I shout across the bar. He kind of okay. like, you know, he kind of gets up in that aggressive sort of way, and the other guy like reaches over like to try and take his arm, but he pulls it away and steps closer to you, like, like, oh, just give me an excuse, you fuckhole. 
There we go. See, this that's what I wanted to hear. I was, I was just <laughs> waiting for it. Okay. Whew, all is right with the world. <laughs> it's all about making them swear. That's right. Right. So, you gonna fight him, Henry? Um. Yeah, actually, fuck it. He's our. He's heading towards you. He's happy to fight you. <laughs> oh, cool! I'm going outside. You're go You're going outside. Oh, like yeah. leading him out there, kind of going outside. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, let's yeah. go outside. Let's go outside. All right. Are the rest of you following? Yes. Yes, I will come. <laughs> okay. Someone needs to call the ambulance. Right. All right. Well, his friend is also going to follow in the same way you are in that he hopes he doesn't have to get involved, but he kind of looks like he feels like he's probably going to have to get involved. Right. All right. Um, so, uh, Henry, um, mm -hmm. pretty much as soon as you get out there, this guy shifts upward into not, you know, a full Metis form, despite the icon that just went onto the combat tracker, but he's clearly, you know, a werewolf if say one of you has any training regarding dealing with werewolves because he kind of takes on like you know extra hair around his knuckles and brow and you know is, he gets like you know a fair bit larger like you know 25 percent as tall and broad and i was about um, to say he transforms right in front of us yes he does it Jesus right Christ. fucking in front of you okay and, yeah and then he pretty much uh reaches right for you so we're going to go ahead and roll initiative, and everyone can roll, but, you know, you don't have to get involved. But it'll be good to have you... Well, I suppose I'm, I'm the one who rolls you all anyway, aren't I? Because of how this works. Do you, you want to yep. fight him, Dolores? Do you want to you wanna break out your, your fists and I guess I can put the other one on the tracker, too. Alrighty. So... Um, it does look like... Uh, Dolores, do you want to do anything before the two of them actually start swinging at each other? <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, uh, I'm just checking my blameless victim posture here. Uh, uh, I guess I'll just, you know, reflex into my yeah, blameless victim posture to make it appear that, oh yeah, they're aggressing on me slash us here and that's manipulation subterfuge difficulty four and i need to beat did i not uh, put this with perception initiative in? i don't think i did thought i did it's fun all right well that should actually be seven that should be ten. ten but that doesn't change the order well it does among them but that's the matter and, uh, yeah. That's uh, nine successes. I think everybody is affected. At the, yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. I mean, yes. it doesn't do much. Um. Yeah. So the, obviously, the guys started the fight, and you know, without justifiable provocation here. Yeah. So. Anyone who does happen to walk by is definitely going to blame the really large guy. Um, yeah. I mean, any witness probably just immediately pass out. I mean, when they're just in, uh, you know, the near man type form, they they do get a bonus to their effective willpower, I believe. But even if they do, yeah, they're still out. most. When they wake up, them. when they wake up, they'll go that fucking werewolf guy. <laughs> you know, probably without the werewolf. I mean, they'll probably remember big guy. <laughs> that giant, that big giant guy. Who I didn't remember being that giant earlier in the night, but yeah, he was <laughs> a big guy. All right, well, Henry, it is your turn. Um, oh, really? Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. Um, in that case, uh, uh, as he's like kind of like already trying to lunge at me, I'm like, whoa, whoa, slow down, Demon! Take off my fucking jacket, Jesus, guy! I'm gonna take that off. <laughs> just gonna throw it to the side carefree um i'm gonna put up my fucking dukes uh and i'm gonna fucking give him a good lick across the face okay um 
Are you going to account for multiple actions for blocking or dodging? Uh, I'm not going to dodge this first turn, no. Okay. Just See checking. See what happens to me. All right, well. Do you know what my dice pool for fucking punching is? It's uh, three. Three? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Good luck to me. You hit him. Oh, yeah! All right, well. Fuck yeah. Um, that's a punch do again. Just a guy dodge. A uh, strength plus one for your accuracy, or two for your accuracy? I think right? I think he's going to just take the first one. Let me just double check his um, soak pool real quick. Oh no, a bucket damage. Something that werewolves, you know, die from, you know, on the regular, no. Alright, so he has that many dice. Oh. Oh wow. Um, I don't think you can botch a soak roll. Like, it doesn't do anything special, yeah. but... It doesn't do anything. Yeah, Are we, but... Doesn't he have to roll damage, too? Hmm? I do have to roll damage. Oh, right, yeah, that was just your... Which is strength plus yeah, my it successes? Yeah, it would just be strength threshold. plus your extra successes. So, yeah, strength plus yeah. one. So. Okay, so that'd be three dice. Because <laughs> I'm just so strong and fit. Okay, still oh two successes. God. Yeah. Okay, so you you get a nice lucky shot, clock him, you know, Wait. right in his, you know, reinforced jaw when he's not really paying attention. He clearly didn't expect much from you, but you you definitely hit him, and he's not going to be happy with that. All right. Come on. That's it. That's all you got. Come on. <laughs> all right, Mason, do you, uh, do you want to do anything about this? I mean, do is the other... my like, imminent death. I think, I mean, you'll be fine, right? He's just going to punch you once, maybe. Although I'm looking like weird fucking shapeshifter. What the fuck? I, I'm probably hanging out with the other guy, like his second. <laughs> like, <laughs> what the fuck? I ask when the guy gains like a foot in height. He uh, kind of crosses his arms and glares at you. He clearly doesn't think well of you, even if he wasn't going to start a fight himself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm probably not going to do anything this round. We'll see what happens afterwards. You don't want to is... get in the middle of fist fights. That is fair. Alrighty. Um, so, well, he's going to punch back, I guess would be the way to go here, after all. Uh, so let's my, head, my chest. Okay, his brawl isn't actually that... <laughs> Super terrible. He initiates grapple. Oh no! no he's no, just no, gonna no. he's just gonna try and clock you across the head. All right, so oh, that perfect. is three successes. Um, I cannot yeah. dodge. Hit me. Right, you cannot dodge. So that'll just be now. His strength is definitely a bit more. Oh yeah, that's that's gonna hurt. Well, it might. All hurt. right. Okay. It may hurt. Here's the damage roll. Okay. And it is a fa wow. <laughs> Two success. Oh, the, I see. None. I yeah, have the, roll. the dice are favoring the little guy, quite literally. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can't rightfully get involved because he's winning. Yeah. I'm just a little guy. Yeah, so he, he, you know, basically like throws a punch, tries to like haymaker you in the stomach and just kind of catches your you know, ex exalted, uh, empowered bones, and it kind of, you know, it knocks you back a bit, but you don't really feel it. Um, yeah. Um, I, I kind of look look down in amazement and straighten myself up, put my dukes back up <laughs> like nothing happened, and go, come on, dude, I thought we were fucking fighting. This is when you fight. Uh, here, let me show you. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to try to kick him in the groin. All right, well... His lieutenant um, is just kind of watching for now, similarly. Uh, Dolores, do you want to do anything before the groin kick? <laughs> uh, I think I'll be fine. I'll, I'm just going to pass here. I don't have anything to do. Okay. Groin kick. Activate. Yep. Groin away. Yeah, um, so is this a new turn to do reroll initiative, by the way? No, we're just keeping it simple for this, at least for now. Okay. 
This is oh. hopefully not an actual fight to the death. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll see what effect. happens we'll when see. you're we'll when you're groin kicking away. All right, well, like the biggest game rerolling stuff is important for the, the system. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Well, roll so damage so you can try because again or no? No, he's he's trying to he's trying to appear tough. Okay. Well, let's fucking let's fucking see. Oh no. Okay. Well. All right. No damage. So yeah, you kick in the groin and kind of hit the taint instead. <laughs> Doesn't really phase him. <laughs> oh, the iron hard taint, of course. Right. I mean, you know, it's <sighs> werewolf in uh, glabro form. It's <laughs> you know, it, it, it they re it reinforces the sensitive areas. <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right. Um, <sighs> Mason's still waiting and seeing. Yeah, although I'm gonna I'm gonna stick an essence point into iron skin and. Add my add dice to it. Oh. Add my stamina to my dice pool. So back to nine good. essence. You're so fancy. All Using right. Using your magic. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to roll oh, this werewolf's rage because Ooh. you're still winning overall, and you just tried to kick him in the in the very sensitive testicular region. So let us see how he reacts to that. This is that is two rage success. I think it's four to immediately fly into a frenzy. But oh, I am no. going to let him go above his normal rage rating. Uh, so he's looking very angry, and uh, he's actually going to spend one of those temporary rages right away and. He's gonna, you know, try and hit you with the old one-two, um, as they say. So, sure. Yep. I have no idea oh, what no. he's doing. <laughs> I mean, I, he's he's attacking twice. I um, see. He's attacking with, but with uh, werewolf juice. So it would be minus one. I forgot the wound penalty last time because he. Had, I don't believe he has any gifts giving him extra health levels. So, all right. Here is the first attack. I mean, his friend is still not going, so even though rage actions are at the end of the round, it'll just be one after another. All right, and you are not dodging, so that is just a raw I hit. I dodged. Um, okay, I have to remind myself of his strength again. Yep, I knew that. And... Okay, soak to bashing. To bashing? Yep. Okay. You soaked too bashing. Okay. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna skid back in the dirt a little bit and almost lose my balance, uh, and then just be completely fine. Yep. And then he is going to step forward with like supernatural levels of speed. Like he hits you once, and then he's already in your face again. All right. That is another two success one. Wait, no, the first one's one success, which means this goes out to that. That's difficulty five to soak, because I'm super cool. All right, so soak one, one damage. damage. One damage. I don't know if I can... Yep, done. <laughs> you soak that too. All Man, right. Man, at so difficulty. Uh, at this point, I'm, I'm just going to start laughing uh, and say, How does this not hurt? <laughs> Uh, oh. I'm just going to, um, again, without even trying to dodge, uh, I'm just going to try to sock him under the chin. Okay. Um, I think that will be the last of my uh, combat attempts before I start going like, all right, that was that was a good fight. Hey, we'll see. Yep. Oh, no. Okay, I missed. Oh, you botched. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Wait. Uh, it's not I one did. of your cast abilities, I'm assuming. It's not a cast ability, well, no. Well, cast equivalent. Um, all right, so... Oof. Boy, I really want to make this worse for all of you. So what happens is you go to, you know, take a, you know, a not-too-terrible swing at him, just kind of throwing your 
quote unquote wait around and you slip and you jab him like hard in each of his eyes with your fingers and that pisses him off because now it's like you're trying to go fucking three stooges on him and uh. at that point he is going to immediately shift up into war form and shit is going to get real and you immediately realize shit is getting real because there is now a what eight foot tall werewolf uh, growling angrily at you so okay hey now this is not what i signed up for what the fuck all right so mason uh yeah when it's a giant eight foot tall werewolf i guess i take out my pentex issue combat knife which i you know keep on me because these things happen <laughs> and uh yeah yeah i guess i'll put an essence into uh the cast ability or yes my excellency and attack with melee because he just did the equivalent of drawing a knife or you know drawing a gun in a fist fight yeah pretty much And I'm wearing civilian clothing. That's like a, you know, reinforced clothes or whatever. All right. Let's see what this melee is. Uh, love that pile of dice. All right. Eight successes. He is going to spend a rage to try and dodge that. Um, what is his dodge or athletics? And he's in that form. So... A full seven dice <laughs> against eight successes. Well, he might lower some of it. Wow, it was actually a pretty good roll. So that means you're left with three successes, which means uh, damage rating pl plus uh, two. Yes, and my anime isn't flaring. That's a regular roll. I guess I do a basic roll of my strength is two, and the knife adds one. Yeah. Uh, Right, let's see. Two plus one, three. So not a, not a ton of damage. We'll see. Okay. Uh, that's a, that's a silver knife. I don't know if he's also a creature of darkness or not. He is a creature of darkness. So it doesn't matter. All right. So you know the knife lights up with glowing fire as I jab it into him. Um. I can't remember. It's harder for werewolves to soak silver. I know they can soak it's agate. It's impossible. Okay, they can't actually soak oh, silver yeah. whatsoever. So he yeah. just takes that. So that is two aggravated damage. Which means, you know, you sink that knife into his side, it starts to sizzle in that unnatural way of, you know, a knife cutting through butter when it shouldn't be butter. Um, and yeah. he howls, which... You know, people inside are starting to panic and wonder what the fuck's going on. If they do look outside, they immediately start running in the other direction. Um, so, that is your turn. Yes. Now it is his turn. And that being the case, um, let me double check. He has a gift. I need to double check its damage rating. Because... Uh, what happens is that, um, here it is. Doo, 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 doo. Sorry to be slow with it. Okay. But yeah, what happens is, uh, as he howls, these two unnatural looking, like, I don't know, serrated horns jut out of his head. And, um, no, he's gonna, he's gonna attack both. Henry and Mason once each um, and neither of you accounted for dodging so yeah that's yep. right, that's right. Tell us one day. It's, uh, I believe he gets to ignore alright this first one's going to be at Henry the dice continue to not allow wow. him to hurt Henry <laughs> I'm just, um, I'm just so yeah, it, uh, you know, he like lunges at you, trying to like impale you with the horns, and you just kind of scoot out of the way or duck perfect. back or, um, all right, and then he's gonna like you know twist and try to catch Mason on the 
upswing. Okay, that is two successes, which means so it's six plus two plus one is nine. Alrighty, soak five aggravated damage, Mason. Oh, oh boy. Right. Let's see how I do. Okay. I do. It's like, so you ripped my serious. fucking shirt, you bitch. Basically, I say, yeah. as, his, <laughs> as, his, as his horn blunts against my skin. Right, like this thing, lo it looks like, you know, if you were still mortal, that would be through you and you would be not doing so hot right now but no it just kind of pushes you back no as if tell. you were pushing against like fucking diamond um but like yeah i'm probably flying back like six feet and i'm pissed off because he ripped my shirt yep your poor Perfect. shirt your shirt takes the most damage out of any of you so far um all right well um his friend kind of has to get involved too just because he saw silver and he's He's shifting up because Silver's in play, and so he's got a. He's got a. Um, which means, I guess, this is also coming at Mason. Alright, let me check because this guy is not quite so combat focused, so. But he does have. A, he actually does have a decent brawl pool. Alrighty. Whoops, no, this, ah, it doesn't matter which one I roll from. Uh, did that go, oh, there it is, yep. So that is six successes, so, um, fuck, what are werewolf claws normally? I think it's just, it's strength plus one, right? I think so. All right. Yeah. Maybe yeah. two. So his strength, wow, really goes up that much? Okay, so... Plus five. That means that means thirteen damage, I believe. The roll. All right. Okay. Soak nine aggravated damage from the other one. <laughs> that's kinda. gonna be tough. Yeah. Oh yeah, boy. That's a bit. That's a bit harder. Six. Okay. So three so you take three aggravated damage. So yeah, Ooh, you, you know, the first one knocks you back and then the other one comes in and rakes across. Like, clearly your shirt was protecting you because, you know, with yeah. part of your chest bared, the claws are able to get through and start raking through your skin. You're not as immediately eviscerated as anyone else would be, but you are hurt. So let me... There we go. Three egg on the tracker. All right. Yep. But negative one now. Hooray, yep. ox body. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dolores. Dolores, save us. Oh. We made a mistake. <laughs> well, you know, I think, you know, Megadon and Project Manual says, oh, in case you see a Lycan throw, you know, A, call, you know, the head office and B, evacuate the area. So she's going to do right that. You know, as she's dialing, uh, running over to the cars, I guess, in the front front parking lot, right? There's some? Um, okay. Yeah, it's probably like one of those types where you mostly park around the block or around back. Um, but... well, I don't know, she's going to run to the nearest car and then cut herself on its fender and use Object Awakening Anointment to make it come to life and attack one of the werewolves. Just to, you know, throw something at them. Okay, yes. So I'm, I'm going to suffer a level of lethal damage All to right. do okay, this. You got that. Yeah, and um, yeah, they they have a dice pool of 3 of mana essence, so 1, and strength equal to the size, blah blah. So, you know, I guess the car is just going to ram at the first werewolf just to, I don't know, to tie it down with the action economy. Right. Okay, so which one? The one who started the fight or the helper? Yeah, that... the one that started the fight. Okay. So yeah, you do manage to uh, find a small enough car nearby to awaken it and get it to try and run that one down. Um, does it give you... 
Let's see, it gives... Why don't we... Give your... Eh, you know what, we'll just do it on your turn. So yeah, roll three dice and go for it. What was the difficulty, six? Yeah. Three dice, roll. Okay, Ooh, two successes. Two successes. So roll damage because right. he wasn't paying attention to expect to need to dodge mm -hmm. a car. This I'm guessing. So three batching. Yep. Alrighty. Well, he is going to try and soak that, of course. Um, right. Maybe at six. Okay, so yeah, the car just kind of, you know, dishevels him a bit and makes him stumble, but it doesn't look like it really did much. Um, but he doesn't he look happy. Also about about these. Okay, I'm continue running away. Sounds good. <laughs> Henry. Oh boy. Um, <clears throat> so, important question. Can I have a, would I have a a gun you could oh, have this a, is America, yes uh, yeah we're we're in the u.s you could have a sidearm like that you keep you're probably you're licensed because you're with pentex and first team so yeah you can have a gun probably not an assault well, I, rifle, I'm not but you can have a team. oh right sorry yeah i confused you for a second there no my dad was a right a gun either way you so, yeah. you still probably okay. are already licensed so yeah Okay. You can as, long as, that's, as long as that is reasonable, uh, I am going to pull out my piece, um, and I w I'm about to shoot just as like uh, the uh, the werewolf at the start of the fight uh, gets hit by a fucking car. Uh, so <laughs> I just my aim a little bit before I start like firing into him. Yep. Um, what are the fucking stats for gun? Uh, I believe a typical one we dis we saw was four dice er, per damage, uh, and doesn't really yeah. affect the Light base pistol. roll. So yeah. difficulty okay. six. Six. Attack Beautiful will start. Stuff. Okay, and I now have that, so I should be rolling many dice. Oh, I'll be using my excellency. Oh, I'm not even gonna bother rolling to hide the supernatural bullshit. My cast mark uh, flickers briefly before I start shooting. Sounds good. Please. Give Please. it a moment. It gets it gets weird sometimes when the dice fall on top of each other. There we go. Four, four success. successes. So Beautiful. three plus four. Okay. Uh four plus four, no? It's the oh, no, extra I successes. See, that's yeah. I got over. Bam. Okay, three successes. All right. Well, he's gonna try and soak. Okay, so you managed to do one lethal. Um. Okay, so he's at. Uh... Oh wait, he's in. He's in. Uh, his war form. So that bashing, I believe, actually healed by now. Yeah, because that was from the five and one one. Because, yeah, they heal, I believe it's one bashing per turn. And then a lethal per turn after that. Um, but yeah, the lethal takes for now. <laughs> Alright. Um, Mason. It, yeah, should we start doing... Oh, sorry. No. Sorry, go ahead. Right. I was going to uh, ask, do we start doing initiative now that things got serious? Well, I've already... I, I, I have no idea. Don't you, I, if you guys want to do re-roll every turn, we can. It's easy enough with this. I just didn't yep. bother. Yeah, yeah, might as well. This is fine. I don't know. Whatever. All right. Yeah. We'll do it after more. this round. Okay. Yeah. Because initiatives do change how the fight goes. Because if someone goes first, then you get different reaction and so on and so on. And yeah. Right. 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 Okay. Well... Uh, I will pump an essence into Iron Skin and lower my Silk DC to four. Didn't you already use Iron Skin? Yeah, it has two powers. It has oh, one okay. will add dice and one lowers Super difficulty. Dead. Gotcha. It is, it is ridiculous for level one power. Uh, <laughs> and then I think I will just 
stab the guy who clawed me because the other one is under a car. All right. Uh, Sounds the, the good. The guy with the horns, yeah, is a little yeah. is distractible. This guy's right on top of me, so he's yep. the one who gets the knife. And so I subtract my wound penalty two. of minus one, and have go of it. Already, that eight is successes. eight successes. Uh, he hasn't spent any of his rage, so he's going to spend one to try and block you. Okay, so that leaves you with six. So five plus damage rating. Right, which is three, so that is eight, I guess. Sounds good. He okay. takes four aggravated. Oh well he does get to Oh wait, no, that's the silver it's one. Unless he's right. unless he's a metis. Um actually no. No, that one isn't. Actually, the other one is. He could have. Oh, well. Oh, well, okay. We'll worry about that later. All right. So, yes. Four aggravated damage to the one that clawed your stomach open. Yes. That's like, we just start getting into a bloody knife fight. <laughs> taking on a nine foot tall were werewolf with a little dagger. All right. So, um, the angry werewolf who was just hit by a car is going to basically pick up the car and throw it. Um, so I believe that would end up being strength plus athletics effectively since it's not exactly something you need to grapple typically. So eight plus, so that'll be 10 dice. Okay, two successes. I'm guessing the car's not going to dodge. Um, so, one plus... That, that seems right. Okay, how much damage can the car take before your charm uh, is? Let's see. The car has... Um, oh, it can soak. Up to five soak and uh, has one health level. Okay, so uh, roll its soak. I'd say four for a car. It's not like a diamond or something, but it's still a car. Yeah. That's one. Okay. Success. So the car survives. It gets thrown back and just kind of, you know, the suspension manages to keep it intact. Um... Yeah. And then he's going to pop another rage and remind me he gets to go after his friend. Actually, I can just fucking... Whoops. Wrong. How do I re-move them around? I know I can. Nope, that just... Alright, just remind me he gets to go again after his friend. Alright. Well, okay. his, his friend, I guess, is going to just try and continue eating Mason. Um, since you just got stabbed, all right, he, well, he's also ignoring the penalties, but his dice pool is not quite as good, so, but he's got five successes, so. Oh, wow, he's a lucky guy. Yep. Four plus seven is 11. Okay, soak six aggravated. All right, let's give it a try. I okay, succeed. you've soaked six aggravated, so, you know, the second claw comes down to try and continue where the first was, but uh, that part, you know, it's part of you that does still have some shirt there, so obviously it can't get through. You know, it just tears right. the shirt away. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, my uh, clothing budget is really going to go sky high. Right. Okay, now his friend gets to go again because of rage actions. Um, and, well, the car is at least thrown back, so his attention's going to... I guess Henry's the one who hit him last, so... He's gonna... He's gonna go... He's Bring gonna on. charge Henry with those fucking horns. Uh, which does mean he gets only one attack, but it's gonna be... Fucking terrible if he hits you with it. So, um... 
Well, let us see how that goes, I guess. I guess this will be better pool. Okay, one success. Shame that you don't have any way to dodge, or declare to a dodge after your turn. Um, so that, that means it's strength plus five is the basic for a charge with that gift. Which... He, did he have the larger strength? Yes, he has 8, so 8 plus 5 is 13. Let's see if you get gored. Soak 6 aggravated, Henry. Ooh, ooh, mm, mm hmm, mm hmm. I believe in you. Thanks. <laughs> With your 3 dice. Okay, so you take right. 5 aggravated damage. That's, that's, got, a... that's got you in some wound penalties. <laughs> that has me just into the wound penalties. Okay. I'm at a, a minus one wound penalty. Wow. Okay, so you have some ox equivalents magic. too. Yeah, and I got some magic bullshit. Good, the, good. Uh, what's it called? Alright, and that okay. was the rage action, so that turn is over. So, I'm like impaled, to be clear. <laughs> all right, Dolores, you go again first for the new round. <laughs> okay, um, well, she'll continue trying to call Pantex and running away and awaken another car. Why not? You know, just to <laughs> tie them over more. <laughs> if that's possible. Ours are very effective. I mean, you know, action economy, right? I, I, mean, I approve of, of the car strategy. <laughs> Only one of them's really going to be able to get down the alleyway at a time, just to mention. Because, you know, you kind of went yeah. out back, not really... You're not fighting in front of the place. Okay, well... In that case, I guess I don't need to then. If the whole alley is taking, a, taking up, so... I guess I'll just pass my turn then. Okay. Not really anything you want important. to declare a full defense, just in case? Sure thing. Okay. Well, we are back to Wolf 1. Um, ooh, he probably wants... Oh, wait, uh, you do still have the first card, Dolores, if you want okay. to well, roll I'll an attack. the first one, then. Yes. Um, three dice for roll. Yes. Two successes. Two successes, so... so that's five damage. The roll, and that's two successes in damage. All right. Well, uh, back to here. the angry car. Okay, this one had the. Sorry, I keep mixing up there. Is that three? Okay, so yeah, it's six total because they don't get quite as much stamina in Krenos. Okay, uh -huh. so bashing. he takes the bashing that he will heal on his turn, but. <laughs> All yeah. right. He'll be getting at the end, though. He might take a wound penalty for it or something. Yeah. Um. Well, no, he, he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't suffer wound penalties. Um. He's frenzy. <laughs> okay. He's in frenzy, right? So. One, two, I guess that's... Three. Yeah, he's effectively in frenzy. One, two, three. Ooh. How many? It's seven health levels normally. Okay, so yeah, he's still plenty good. He is, however, going to go after the car again because it's the bigger target. And he's not thinking oh, no. straight right now. So, um, yeah. Uh, roll to throw car across street. Four successes. I'm almost so. Oh, you're rolling to so good. So. All right, so yeah. its damage will be three plus. Lots of dice. Jesus, okay, unfortunately the car. the car does break down enough to not be able to function anymore. So yeah, he <laughs> basically he picks up the car, like kind of digs his claws and throws it out of the alleyway and it lands, you know, upside down. Um, it's not terribly damaged by the process, but it's still upside down and not able to do anything. Um, all right. Um, I think he's also going to 
Oh, he's gonna heal his thing at the end of the turn, and then he's going to spend another rage to get an action at the end. Um, you know what I'll do? I'll create an item. Extra actions. Make that visible. There we go. It'll always go at the end of the turn. I can actually make that super... There we go. It's a knit bonus is negative 20, so it will always be at the end. <laughs> Alright, so whoop two. Well, he's, he's got no reason to switch off of Mason, I don't think. Um, so yeah, he's going to go for Mason. Um, Alright, I'm here. Yes, you are. One success, uh, which means it's basic. I'll just soak it. Yep. So basic seven damage. Soak one aggravated damage. You better be able to. Okay. I succeed. Yep. Another bit of your shirt goes. It's a sleeve that time. Ah, oh, fucking bastard. <laughs> Ah, uh, that was sexy battle where uh, you slowly get more naked. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and right. then I knife this guy, yeah. Alright. Um, wow. Oh, well, he, this is he is going to spend one of his rage, uh, his own rages just to dodge. Uh, I recall his was this. Because I don't want to keep checking the sheet every turn. Bomb. <laughs> one, okay, so roll... 10 plus your damage. Okay. Five. five. He already has four, so... He yep. goes down. He tore, he ripped I... off my sleeve. I like jab at his neck repeatedly. <laughs> yeah. Let's just... I mean, he is nine him. feet tall, right? So I'm, like, jumping up and stabbing him on the way down. Yep. And then, you know, as you're falling to the ground... He's getting smaller and smaller because this one was the hominid, and so he, you know, he falls to the ground in a bloody human form as oh, you're shit. stabbing him the last time. Look at the second one, right? Yes, the yeah. second one, the one I hid, okay. so he's not cluttering up your thing. Okay, uh, that is Mason's turn. Henry, hi. I'm still impaled on that first guy, right? I mean, you're not, like, pinned or anything. He was trying to do other stuff to you. Or, no, because he turned around to go after the car, so, you know. Oh, he, okay. So he gored he, me and, and left to go Yeah, he car. gored no you problem. and left stuff to fall out of you. Okay. Um, I am going to uh, put my hand on that wound, um, because I, I, I can feel it, and obviously I'm, I'm impaired by it, but uh, pain doesn't really matter that much to me anymore. Um, and I'm just going to, with my other hand, uh, try to light up my shot and, uh, just fire. Fire um, away. While that's going on, though, I am reflexively activating, uh, Digesting the Great Beast. Okay. Uh, What's so that this, this gives me turns of regeneration, uh, depending on how many successes I roll on this, stamina and occult roll, which is a cast ability and I'm spending another essence to um oh wait no, no another one and you're gonna be glowing and I'm a banner no okay that's fine I'm just gonna roll um a cast ability for that and that'll be how many turns I get of healing yes okay that's exactly what I needed because it takes three turns of healing to heal one fucking ag Oh, um, wow. So that hole is very, very slowly closing up uh, okay. as I as I try to fire at this guy. Take the shot. Cool. Five successes. Um, he already spent one rage. Yeah, he he can only spend. No, he can spend two a turn, so he can. Yeah, you're not firing silver at him. He's not going to try and dodge. So just go ahead and damage him. Four plus um, your rating. Oh, 
Okay, he needs to oh, soak damn. Okay. two lethal. Unfortunately, not that hard. Yeah, the, the apple yeah. just kind of gets stuck in the fur. All right, now it is his extra action. Um, I guess now he... Let's see, the car's destroyed. I guess he probably would turn around and try to go after Henry some more. Um, oh, God. I don't think you can multiply extra actions through any means. I so. Yeah, he's just gonna... He's just gonna take one shot at you. Five successes. So... Oh, boy, okay. Yeah, so... That is 13 damage. Let's see how that goes. Ooh. Um... Could you go ahead and soak eight? Can you take six so, without dying? Nope. Okay, wait, you no, are- Wait, no, no, wait, hold on, hold on. Two, four, six. Yes, yes, actually I can. Okay, well, you are in whatever- It's, just, it's six, right? Yes. Or, or, okay, then yes, sure can. Okay, well you are in whatever <laughs> state that leaves you in, which is- Another Almost chunk dead. stabbed out of you with his fucking okay. horns. Yeah, lo lower half is now almost completely detached. Okay, yeah. that's a problem. I feel that. Okay. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that out of character. <laughs> All right. I'm sure it'll be fine. Everything is fine, right? Everything's totally fine. Oh. Bumped up. <laughs> okay, roll for the new turn. Dolores again goes first. Then I'll, I guess I'll hold. Yeah, she just continues calling Pentex about the, you know, lycanthrope issue and yeah, finding her own car to drive back home. It's probably not going to get through in combat time. Uh, yeah, if you, yeah, you want to animate something else, you can. Uh, I think I'll, I'll be fine. Okay. If you insist. Save guys me! Guys the car? Huh? I mean, there's like a dumpster in here you could interpose. Uh, sure, I'll animate a dumpster. Uh, she just, you know, runs over there in her high heels and, you know, <laughs> slaps herself against the rusty dumpster. And yeah. Boom, it comes to life. And okay. starts running towards them. All right. Um, so what does the dumpster do? Well, I guess... Uh, Henry, would you like to be picked up, or would you like to have a werewolf attack? Um... Uh, get, get rid of the werewolf. <laughs> Fine, so the dumps attacks the werewolf. Okay. Just grab him from the side. Sounds good. Uh, let's see... Three... I, I doubt the werewolf is going to go after me. I look like I'm already dead. He How just could runs I over Henry. <laughs> if, if, I was, if I was a little meaner, yeah, that would just kind of run right into Henry. Oh, but no. I'm not, I'm not quite that mean. Um, One of his wings just pops off and swerves. Yeah. Um, in, instead, it's going to knock the phone out of Dolores' hand as it tries to charge. So, um, Oh, no, my phone. And it kind of cracks on the ground, so any chance you had of a call going through is pretty much ruined. Um, oh no. Oh no. Where's the payphone? <laughs> hey, <laughs> phone. Hey, it does still exist? Oh no. I, I, you can occasionally find booths in Boston, and they're always empty, like they took the phones out. <laughs> <laughs> Damn your technology. So All anyway. Right. Yeah. Well, Mason, it is your turn. Yeah, uh, I'm going to run over and, you know, just jump on this thing's probably back or possibly front and just keep stabbing it because, yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. <laughs> yeah. All right. Roll to stab. Oh, I have to pump another essence into that, but I do that. Okay. No worries. Eight okay. hits. Yes. Um, he is not facing you, so I'm not going to have him roll to... So just roll damage. 
He will get right. soaked though, because he is a metis. Yes. Which I now remember is the thing. I think the difficulty is still higher at least though. All right, so six damage to soak. Whoops, I did not raise the difficulty. That's fine, I can, let's see, one, two subtracted from that, so he only soaks one of it, so that is five aggravated damage. Um, so, okay, that is enough to take this one down too. Thankfully yeah. for you. So yeah, you jump on his back and just kind of, you know, basically cut out his spine so he can't make the rest of his body do anything. <laughs> I won't be too graphic with that, but... Yeah. I feel like I've said enough with that. So yeah, without the uh, information superhighway of the body, uh, he just kind of collapses down to the ground, and he stays in that form unlike the other one. So you have a uh, giant werewolfy body there beneath you, bleeding, and... Yeah. On top of Henry, hopefully not. <laughs> It's like, you know, basically like at Henry's feet. <laughs> yeah. The Mickey pile. You know, okay. if you... I'm cut. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. So, yes. Um, at that point, we can call combat time over. Um, so, you have a dead humanoid werewolf and a dead werewolfy werewolf at your feet or beneath you or wherever and well henry is still kind of i'm almost dead not all like there dead. and i mean literally um, not all there <laughs> like you can see my spine when i'm i'm raggedly breathing you can kind <laughs> of see my lungs in the mush I'm like holy are you still awake clearly not I am not i am wide awake and like just kind of staring uh, at the sky fucking breathing <laughs> Uh, we call you an ambulance or an Uber. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, guys, what the fuck? We can't. Werewolves. Uh, I'll call you an ambulance. I get getting out my phone. No, don't, guys. <laughs> uh, I can see your innards, man. You need an ambulance. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. It's just. All right, look, I can make this work. You you do heal one of the damage because of the, you know, charm you already Oh, no, I have to against. activate that again. No, I mean, you heal one because of, of that finishing. Yes. Yeah, yes. that's all I mean. You heal the one from that first oh, activation. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. No, see? Uh, no, that's right. It's coming together. It's coming together. Okay. Do you need us to take you somewhere? Uh, yeah, could you, uh, could you get right back to my apartment? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Let's, uh, let's do... Again, please give me three. Please. No. Okay. Fuck. This is going to take forever to heal. I mean, Megadon does have a proper health insurance when it comes to lycanthrop attacks. Have you seen that the employee manual? How have I not read this? <laughs> what the fuck? I do kind of like the idea that, like, Dolores somehow has the same, like, in-depth first-team level manual, despite just being the head mailroom clerk. <laughs> well, what else do you do all day there? Right. Other than, you know... Well, it, it was came... going to be mailed out, but it never got, like, assigned. So, right, you know. it was like one of those missing packages, like, oh, I may as well read through this. <laughs> Oh, look, it's oh. an updated version. It includes lycanthropes. <laughs> I mean, I didn't, I didn't know we had anything pretty much, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like that. I'm all for it. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, you should get out of here. I guess we'll grab you and go, because... Um, yeah. You know, let someone else explain the giant werewolf corpse. I don't feel like doing it today. That's kind of my thought process, you know, is there's going to be questions about the corpses that no one grew up like... Yeah... Um, oh God! Okay, I can get I should, up. I can get up. I'm good. I'll, I'm yeah, I'll I'll call the Pentex legal the, the you know the first team legal representative and say, hey, guess what? Two dead werewolves in the bar, <laughs> in a in a bar parking lot. Well, actually, on that note, um, can you all roll me an alertness again? I know you all love rolling that for me fifty times a session. Oh, I can't. <laughs> oh, you're, you're <laughs> too, you have more penalty, penalty than pool. 
Yeah, That's two great. hits with my wound penalty. I am not paying attention. What's the difficulty? Uh, difficulty is six, since the rolls were already started to be made and I forgot to mention anything. So that's fine. Okay, so we have one success. two successes and one success. Alright, so you all notice a young woman that kind of like slipped around a corner like... Well, more you noticed that earlier, and now you hear something along the lines of... You hear murmuring um, the name Mitchell, and something about a reality deviancy event. Um, and then there's also a mention of SPD somewhere in there. That's all you can really pick up. Okay. So... Uh, yeah, uh, someone's already calling some kind of police. I assume that's uh, the special uh, police doing... department or something. So let's. Uh... Are we going to have a hostile takeover again? Yeah, <laughs> uh, I will grab Henry's not quite corpse body. He's he's still alive. I'll... But it, you know, I know you shouldn't move you, but you say we got to get out of here. So yeah, I'll be fine. Yeah, I can take it. <laughs> There's some. <laughs> There's a, I could literally see pavement through you. I can't... This is my superpower. It's not as cool as yours. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Okay. So I'm going to activate Acute Paranoia Principle to lower my difficulty of perception rolls by minus three and try to eavesdrop more on what they're saying, maybe? Yeah, go for it. Okay. So it just takes me to the concentration in here. Can I reload the roll? Or... Yeah, go ahead and just roll again. Uh, okay. Difficult. So, three. I can basically, yeah. Nine. Yeah, that is much better. Okay, so I'm not going to try and come up with the one-to-one -one conversation, but that is the level mm -hmm. of detail you pick up. Um, yeah, you... Um, again, yeah, you hear she's talking to someone named uh, Mr. Mitchell, um, and you know, says that there was a reality deviancy event with, um, what do they usually call werewolves? Like, you know, lupine, well, what do they call them? Lycanthropes? Yeah. Yeah, something along those lines, like lycanthrope deviance, um, and says that there were, hmm, how would she put you two? Probably just unknown deviants were the victims in the fight, because as far as you can tell, your power worked on her, too. Um, uh, and said that they, you are essentially, like, uh, secondary, you know, focus as they look into what happened. Um, uh, she gives basically your details of what you all looked like, and... Um, doesn't seem to have caught any names, at least. Um, and then there's a recount of the fight, and uh, again, she mentions that there was some talk of what she says were um, SPD-affiliated resources. Oh, nice. Oh. Uh, ask him to be where his car is. <laughs> oh yeah, it's right there. Hopefully not the one yeah, that Dolores animated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, I'll get him out of here with his car because I have a motorcycle and I don't think he'll want to ride it right now. Certainly did put blood stains on your on your vehicle. Yeah, I can't have that. <laughs> Bleeding everywhere. <laughs> Right. And and hooray for me not lighting up my anima in that fight. That would have been bad. Yay! <laughs> Probably, yeah. We would have died. <laughs> no, not... I mean, it actually would have been easier to fight him, but... No, I mean, we would have died without you. Yeah. For sure, for sure, for sure. Well, I mean, uh, somebody has to make the dawn, right? Right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So yeah, before too long, you do hear sirens starting to, you know, approach, so... But you are able to get out of there in time and head back to Henry's apartment. Um, so how much... I'll help him up and 
get him on his couch or something. Yeah. You know what? I think I'll stay behind to see like what's being handled here and when I on the other girl to like I don't know not her license plays down and so on. Out of just paranoia here. Alright. Well can you give me some sort of stealth or try not to be seen kind of role? Because you know, listening Deck around stealth, the corner is I easy guess. enough. But... Or with yeah. stealth. That sounds fine. And so that'll be basically what's the what's the difficulty? Um, that is going to be six, because it's just a test dealy. Killer. Four All successes, right. well. Four successes, so let's see. Where's... Oh, there it is. Okay. So... Oops, not there. Hold on, I need to open up my template that'll let me roll anything. Uh... Wow. Okay. Um, she definitely, you know, as you start to try and get close, you notice she turns around and, like, looks right at you, kind of with a, a sort of, like, warning look, like, just... Yeah, I'm thinking, like, you know, get to my car, look at her, and she notices me noticing her, uh, watching her, and so on, so on, and <laughs> yeah. as I'm waiting for a new girl life, and... Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, so long as you don't get any closer, try to continue, she leaves you be and heads off. Um, uh, yeah, I recover two essence from my Dawncast anima. Hooray, hooray. Yay! Yep. And then, Henry, how much essence do you have to try healing yourself with? Uh, I have eight essence left. Um, so if I if I if I'm willing to flare my anima while I'm in my apartment, uh, I can get a little bit more efficiency out of it and see if I can heal at least most of it. Yeah, go for Roll it. it. Roll it. All right, I will. I will go for it. I will allow the success is to be like cumulative since you're like as in like that one will funnel into your next roll and I so very on much appreciate that. yeah <laughs> all right let's see let's Go heal see. that missing stomach please okay five, five. So six so that's two more damage healed oh that's no that's just one um no, I'm Just saying because... that you rolled one when you were trying right after the fight. So that oh my goodness. Okay. rolls into this. I'm, I'm being nice oh, about it. Oh, I understand. Basically, I understand basically you healed a third of an ag already, and it's just a failure of the system. So, oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'm going to spend another um, another essence while I have my excellency and such to uh, you know, one more time. Let's see how much Go we can for get. It. Oh, right. that is two, two more. Two more. Thank goodness. Okay. Um. So over the course of like a couple minutes, uh, my muscles, like in my sides, will grow back in, and and I have most of my skin back on. <laughs> well, that's that's a pretty cool superpower. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I kind of prefer the the thing you do where um. <laughs> Uh, you just you just kind of you you don't get hurt. Okay, you got hurt a little bit, but like you know, come on. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty handy. It's really handy. Also, Dolores, you told me you couldn't do anything. You can uh, make cars there. like hit people. Uh, Dolores is not with you. She stayed behind. Oh no. Yeah. Damn. I'm sure she'll be fine. Okay. She's totally harmless. No one will bother her. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I guess Dolores can animate cars. Like, maybe... I wonder if it's just car... No, there's a dumpster, too. So it's definitely not just car... There's just cars. a dumpster? Yeah. I was kind of out of it by then. It almost ran you over, actually. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Great, great. Awesome, awesome. Jeez. <laughs> um, so werewolves are a, are a big deal, huh? Yeah. This is why yeah. you need the silver stuff? Yep. I recommend getting silver bullets. Uh can steal some out of the first team uh, <laughs> armory. So, 
why are the werewolves mad at us again? I, so, I don't know. Uh, supposedly, Magadon has werewolf allies. So those guys mm -hmm. didn't seem very allied to me. You can go ahead and roll a cult if you'd like. Uh, sure. Either wits or intelligence. Either of you. Both of you. I difficulty six? I'll make that roll. Yes, difficulty six. Okay. Oh my. So, Mason, you've heard that, you know, in your training, you've heard that werewolves sometimes, you know, the reason they're so dangerous to work with is if they get really mad, they get really mad and just go after everything with reckless abandon and become twice as dangerous as they were already. Um, Henry, you basically put those pieces together to get to that on your own without having heard of that. Like, you saw what happened, you saw that that one was a bit angrier looking than his friend who was kind of more coordinated in how he was going after everyone. Um, and He's that... just kind of lose control. You also, you also put together that that same anger that fuels that state seems to be what kind of grants them that unnatural level of speed that they seem to have with how quickly they were able to try and get out of the way or attack multiple times or otherwise just be all over the place. Right. Whereas I was just fighting with supreme grace and skill as opposed to anything supernaturally amazing. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so... Yeah. I mean, it's what I do, right? Like, I make I make it look like those fights are choreographed. It's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, no, that was crazy. Um, I... Did, did you, uh, I what other super... So, you can see ghosts. You're, you're invincible. Not uh, well, okay, quite. Mostly <laughs> invincible. Mostly invincible. Yeah. Um, and... You're good at fighting with that... Well, I mean, you're good at fighting with everything? I thought yeah. it was just the guns. Uh, well, I mean, I'm good with guns. I'm better with knives. Uh, but I mean, I was before, right? So you, you were better with knives? Yeah. Well, you know. What? So, so you know, I've been practicing more lately with, with knives and spears and staffs and stuff. Because I was te before I got this job, I was teaching at the dojo. Oh. So you know Kung Fu? Yes. Like, not Keanu Reeves style, like I practiced for years. Okay, but like, how much you want to bet it kind of looks like, you know, like the Matrix now or something. Uh, it looks a lot more like the Matrix than it used to, absolutely. Yeah, okay. Um, wow, man, good for you. Um, uh, please always stick around um, in case of werewolves. I'd really appreciate that. I mean, I have to get home eventually, man. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Well, yeah, fair enough. Um, we need to... <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going on anymore, and I really don't know where to go from here. Oh, well, uh, got work tomorrow. It seems like we're all... Yeah. Yeah. I guess we'll figure it out then. Oh, Sounds Jesus. like a plan. I mean, it looks like you're going to make it. It looks like you're going to pull through. Like, it's like it's getting out the med kit and you're just regrowing stuff. Like, oh, you need some alcohol for that? I think you got some asphalt in there. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Get that yeah, make sure you out. remove. Don't let that heal in there. Got to remove pieces of the street before you heal those wounds. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, God. Yeah, okay. I'll spend some time picking that out. But no, I'm, I'm good. Uh, I am good. Uh fucking i will keep you on alert then um, yeah yeah i'll do have a shirt i can borrow well you're probably not going to get it back oh yeah i have plenty of shirts so go ahead as long as you like you know like business casual wear because that's that's basically all well I have. you know i don't think i can wear these rags on my way home yeah, that'd be kind yeah. Of, no i don't blame that? you know yeah, 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 hundred percent. Take, dude, take whatever you need. Take two. Take one to just put <laughs> to put in yeah. the ride, just in case. Right. I mean, probably like towel off. There, there is, you know. Probably, probably by now they've already stopped bleeding. 
but definitely the werewolf clawed me a few times. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, anyway, the technical explanation for what I'm doing is apparently breathing chi in my body. I guess. So it's not like I have a particular I'm invincible superpower. It's I'm doing a thing and that's reinforcing my body. Um, hmm. Oh, you know what? That makes a certain, a certain amount of sense because like Okay, my superpowers don't make any goddamn sense. <laughs> like, okay. I'm kind of tough. A bit. I'm de I definitely don't hurt nearly. Like, this should make me. Should have made me pass out, and I would. Oh, close. yeah, you should I be. It's not there. Yeah, exactly. It's a, it's a mortal injury, right? Like, that's. It... You know, I, I saw guys like that get hit much. You know, much cleaner and die horribly. You give them morphine kind of deal. Yeah, it didn't. It, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, and also I can, uh, regenerate, which you can't do yet, maybe? I mean, a lot slower. I slower than that. Okay. Like, it hurts, You can't, like, but... force it? You can't... Okay, you don't feel like... Okay, this is gonna sound weird. You don't feel, like, something, like, in your heart? And then, like, you start to... No? Okay. You no. Can't look on no, your face like, and tell me. Okay. I mean, I could probably learn to manipulate the chi in such a way that it heals more quickly, maybe? Like, that feels like a thing I could practice and learn to do, but I okay. don't know how yet. Interesting. Okay. Um, but you definitely can't just, like, like turn on your blender with, like, a thought, though, right? No. No. There's no okay, way. see? So that's what leads me to think... Oh, shit. Okay, do you know about Chinese cultivation? Like, uh, the cultivation genre? I mean... I hang out with people who do it for a living. Right. Okay. That. Wait. Actually. Okay. Yes. Ac you're right. You're claiming. Actually, they're claiming. Actually. Yes, they're claiming. I don't. Clearly, something is happening. But when I went to the, to dude, he's like, "Yeah, this feels like similar things that happened to me, except much different." Kind of deal. You know what? Fuck it. That kind of makes a certain amount of sense because. I. What I am doing is feels very disconnected from. Um, any sort of like comic book uh, genre tropes, you know? Like I, I don't, I don't think I'm actually like physically uh, st st stronger, which usually comes with like the being tougher package kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. No, I get it. So, right. Yeah, and usually not all this other weird bullshit. So okay. Um. Fuck. <laughs> I gotta sleep on this. Um, All right. Thanks. So, like, thank you so so much for uh, uh, you know being chill about um, this and saving our lives. I mean, maybe don't start bar fights with werewolves. I will stop starting bar fights with werewolves. That's that's a that. good that's a good lesson learned. You know, just this it's really good advice for unnecessary. Anyone. Yeah, really. I mean, I don't know. I have no way. I have no magical werewolf detector. I don't know if you do, but uh, I do not. Yeah. Remember, you, you just do have to wing it. Remember, you do have awareness. You can try and scout out supernatural things, but you wouldn't. It'd be hard to pick out werewolves specifically unless you really trained yourself at it. Right. I mean, I th in theory, I guess I could like look in the umbra, and they might look weird there. Maybe. Wait, they wouldn't have any reflection. No, so, like the spirit world is totally separate. So, well, they're spirit creatures, right? But they yeah, have to but pass in between the two. Yeah, I, okay. I can't view auras. I can only literally look past the gauntlet. I see. Okay. So yeah. right. I have no way to find them unless they're in the spirit world. Ironically. <laughs> That's how. Uh, it yeah. Okay. I guess. I guess I will leave you to it. After yeah. I wash, you know, towel off some of this blood, most of which isn't mine, and uh. A shirt and go home. <laughs> Don't forget the extra pair. Yeah. <laughs> See you guys work tomorrow, guys. Have to go go collect my motorcycle from the bar and then you know. Drive right. Home. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna just text Dolores because I don't know where the fuck she went. Uh, I'm just gonna text Dolores saying, uh, "Hey, thanks for the fun bar night." 
Um, <laughs> let's never do that again. But we'll talk soon. <laughs> Dolores <laughs> phone buzzes, but her screen is still broken. <laughs> oh, that's right. No, <laughs> that's fine. You can probably get a new one from Magadon. Uh, yeah, electro related, you know, accident, you know, uh, what you call it, deductible. Yeah. <laughs> so, which team arrived at the scene first? Is it you know? Uh, a technocracy is a Pentax and something else. Well, um, so first of all, how what what is uh, Henry's wounds looking at for work tomorrow? Oh, good point. So I am at the uh, wounded health level. Okay. So according to this, uh, I'm still fucked up. Yeah. Um. I Who could... dares to heal the next level? What did you say? Who dares to heal the next level? And then more and more. Yeah. yeah. Um, I could spend more essence to try to heal some more. Yeah. Um, if you can get down to hurt, you'll pretty much be healed by work. Okay. But, like... Are you I, it's down fine if I look like I took a tumble or something. Right. I just don't look like I should be in the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe if I just like bind myself up, like you know, with like. Um, What's your medicine at? Medicine. Oh, oh, my medicine's at two actually. And oh yeah, so you probably yeah. know how to, you know, yeah. Wound, uh, oh, that's right. Band aid yourself yes. up. That's a good point. You can at least make it look good. Okay, I maybe will. I will make it look good. Yeah. All right. Yes, Mason. Mason will have healed by work tomorrow. Wear dark clothes. Very baggy. <laughs> Limp a little bit. Limp a little bit, yeah. Right. Um. Okay, so. Henry, did you. I forget, did you. Were you bleh, did you end up taking the charm that makes creatures of darkness really like you? Um, I. I did. Oh, uh. Yes, I do have the charm that reduces the difficulty. Right. I currently know I am... Better than them? Better than them. Yes. Okay. That probably should have factored into the Black Spiral Dancer, but, you know, that's why he just tried to fist fight you at first instead of just tearing your head off right away. That's how much he liked you. Black Spiral Dancer, holy shit. Oh, yeah. I mean, wow. you, you wouldn't right. know the specific terms. But, no, I would not. I mean, I I don't, you know, I don't feel like I'm revealing anything out of character because it was a creature of darkness. So yeah. Yeah, two, most fire. people can yeah. put two and two together if they know the lore. I mean, there I are other ways. To... Yeah, but anyway, with that being the case, so um, is there anything any of the rest of you would have done before work the next day? I feel like we can get started on that. No, well, uh, Mason has to go home and you know take care of her little brother and so on. So, mm -hmm. well, you know, Dolores was thinking of staying the scene and give her a report of what's going on with those Pentax. Probably like you know, two months of water was bringing up, and then oh yeah, we've been assaulted, and you know, I didn't see the fight, and then you know, they're okay. dead here. And okay, so yeah, I mean, you did get through to Pentax, and they probably would have sent someone over there, so. Um, yeah, just wondering, like, whether they'll get her there before ever, anyone else. Yeah, and, you know, so... Got anything intercepted. You know in, like, TV shows where you've got, like, this is my jurisdiction type thing when two different agencies arrive on a scene? Yeah. You kind of get that going when, um, you know, a Pentex first team and, you know, related uh, employees, as well as a different, distinct, and more high-tech looking black van also shows up and there's some there are a lot of phone calls and uncertainty around there um but well if you want to give me a new eavesdropping role for then i'll call it the same scene if your time lasts that long uh it doesn't cost me anything i just need to concentrate to activate it so yes eight successes okay it's complete three for me yep Okay, so yeah, with eight successes, um, 
you do pick up that, you know, one of the people that came with the Pentex group uh, tells someone to, they basically just say contact SPD, they'll clear this up, and they do exactly that. You know, they you hear them talking on the phone and asking about who the hell this other group that won't even give their credentials is, and uh, they get told something, and you know, you, they they basically get told to cooperate, but don't just leave, and so they also start circling about. Um, they try to respect each other's space, but neither of them really seem to like each other. Neither group. Um, you know, with the perception you have, you notice that the non-Pentex group has some really high-tech looking things. Like, you know, they've got like a phone that has like a scanner on the other side rather than just a phone. Um, it kind of does like a holographic sweep over something, you know, subtle enough that it'll look like a trick of a light if you're not looking at what it's actually doing. Um, you know, they've got like smart watches that are a lot more in depth, uh, in their mechanics and <laughs> appearance than a normal smartwatch would be like, you know, they tap it once and it does five things. Like it knows what they wanted it to, that kind of stuff. Um, oh no, it's the FBI. And if you want to roll awareness, you certainly could. Sure thing. Uh, I guess it's just normal difficulty because I don't get yep. the bonus. That's six, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. That's oh, yeah. Successes. All sorts of... Everything they do, You're it's tingling you. You feel... Everything just kind of makes a like the hair on the back of your neck go on edge as you watch that other group doing their thing. Um, they eventually... You know, they they seem to come to, like, a compromise with each other, like a higher-up enforced compromise where the, uh, where Pentex takes the, um, humanoid-looking corpse and the other group takes the werewolf-looking corpse and loads it into their respective vans after wrapping them up in their own particular ways. Um, and, you know, okay. obviously the Pentex group talks to you and gets your information and sees you know pulls up your file and sees that you're the same person that was there for the um the, yeah uh, obviously the you know someone smoked a mori on me and attacked me right oh. but yeah it's anything so, yeah. they can gather from the from what yeah. happened you know you were clearly a victim you just clearly had bad luck um yeah so, you know, they eventually tell you to go home and remember your NDA. <laughs> oh, I do, I do. Okay, that's all I need to know. Yep. Okay. So, the next day, you all head to work in the morning. Um, those of you that gain essence at sunrise, of course, gain sunrise essence. Um which is at least important to the Infernal, I imagine. I was going to say, I forget if that's me or not, but it is me. Yes, Infernal's, you know, they've got the green sun going on. So it's still sun for them. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, guns out, guns out. <laughs> yeah. Do, do you want to regenerate any more before you head in for the morning? Um, I'm good. Okay. I'm good for now. Just checking. So, yeah, as I hinted at the cliffhanger last time, we now, I guess, technically uh, flash back forward to you all coming into work for the day a week after the first incident with Pentex and Magadon. Um, one of you looking pretty injured, you know, wrapped up and um, covered and... The other two of you look fine, but Dolores has a busted phone. Um, Dolores, you know you can put in a requisition to get a new work phone. Um, especially since it was put in the system that you were the, you know, the victim of a yeah. a new incident. Totally unprovoked werewolf attack. 
Exactly. Yeah, I totally do. Those mean, mean werewolves. Um, yes, you you all do notice that there's a little bit more attention on you in general, even above and beyond broken bones and injuries that require a lot of bandaging. Um, you know, not from most of your coworkers, but like the management and the uh, people like that. Uh, Mason, you get assigned to exactly the same sort of security detail as before. You know, the room looks the same as you remember from the old building. As I mentioned last time, the building looks exactly the same. And as you go through to new rooms, it's exactly the same there, too. Um, like, is it down to the details or like, oh, that's where I scuffed, you know, the desk or whatever? Like, I dropped a can of soda and the desk had a little bump on it? What? But, like, anything related to the construction of the building is exactly the same. But, so like, you know, if there was and something the along the lines work. of your right. manager asked for an extra special closet, that extra special closet is there, but the nick you put on that closet when you were angry about them getting the closet isn't there. It's okay. like it was built up new. You know, they're not calling it the same place, but nobody really recognizes that it looks like the same place at least not you know at your peer level um so yeah <sighs> so yeah same security area for mason same secure or er, secure mail area for dolores and um they, they seem to have actually forwarded all of the same stuff that you were already working on so you got that going for you and henry the uh it area is all ready for you. However, Henry, why don't you make me an awareness roll? Oh boy! Oh golly! All right, awareness and and what? Uh, uh, perception. Awareness perception. will almost always be with perception, unless it's like a special I thing. I see. All right, get ready. This die pool hole. It's gonna it's gonna blow you away. Is it too? Okay. Oh, I'll die. <laughs> well, that mostly means you're going to be startled because, um, you know, as, as, assuming you start to log into your oh yeah normal terminal and stuff, right? So as you're logging into your normal terminal, what looks like a a rusty spider, a rusty metal spider, the size of that terminal's monitor appears on the monitor, and I mean like physically Jesus on fuck. the monitor. <laughs> yeah, I will. I will like stumble back. I'll almost fall out of my seat. Uh, does it attack me? Uh, no. It just waits for you to finish freaking out. It okay. seems very patient. <laughs> I slowly situate in my seat. I look at the spider and say, "Hey there." <clears throat> I was uh just about to log into work. It, um, it kind of like, you know, all of its legs kind of chitter and click on the screen. And then you see the screen kind of like fritz out for a moment. And then text starts to appear on it in like the, you know, you have a modern terminal, but it just changed into like the stereotypical DOS green text kind of terminal uh, display. Uh, and it you know, starts, you know, you commands. right. You see words appearing that say something, uh, not something. It just exactly says, uh, they're watching you. Okay. I'm going to type back. I, I'm not Neo. This is not the matrix. It's a lot weirder than that. So what's going on? Um, it taps again on the screen and it, uh, displays out um you know i i can't says i can't let them get away with what they want to do to someone as amazing as you um you're the one that will lead us lead us into the uh destroyer's dream um and then it clicks again and your terminal goes back to normal, 
and a bunch of files just kind of like spring up um and uh it's basically you remember last time how we talked about how you went into your files and what they planned for you before oh yeah mm -hmm. well it basically opened up your updated redacted double redacted secret redacted new files um and... like the ones put in before i i grabbed the data no, 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 these are updated, like, they're, this, this oh, probably after. was all put just... in during the course of the week while you were stuck uh... with just your hard drive, well, in your cool, cool. back door, but, like, this is the stuff that your back door into the Magadon system didn't even get into. I install my back door at the end of the week, so it's no big deal. Right. But, yeah, and then at that point, it just kind of crackles and fades away, like the spider does but the files are all still there um so yeah okay um i'm going to have that uh we gotta take a peek at it for one um what what do the files like talk about do they know about the attack at the bar and other stuff plans on what they're gonna do to me yes so um you know, as you start to look throughout, the base level is, you know, they update from the previous incident and talk about how their previous plans for you aren't going to work. And then they realize that, you know, as they went further and um, were cross-referencing, you know, with uh, um, what you told them after the attack and all of that, um, it goes into the changed plans to essentially keep an eye on you and search for weaknesses like let you do your job but they're going to be probing because something happened to you and whatever they were doing before isn't going to continue working so they're uh they're planning to prod and see what they can figure out about you um you know as you continue going through it doesn't seem like they have much figured out yet other than that you're um you know, above even what their genetically enhanced <laughs> uh, assets normally allow for. Um, which does end up including a reference to what happened in the bar. Um, oh, like they cite that as evidence of... Yes, like it's... For, oh, like they started in like guessing that must have been the case based on you surviving the first incident and then they go back into that happening and, you know, they uh, they received information that you were one of the ones involved there and uh, were able to apparently put together information from cameras that you don't remember seeing there. Um, that, you know, well, basically... I'm very not perceptive, so that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> they, they know that you can stay, okay. survive missing half of your torso <laughs> among okay. other things um and then okay. they do have notes of your connection to the other two. Oh, that's not good sounds wonderful what, to what me. does it say there so if it's um, anything relevant you don't have to elaborate i'm just is it anything like concerning yeah they don't give like you know th these are mostly your files but they do have you know it's it's basically references to those and you don't actually have the passwords to get into those super hyper redacted information uh bits um but they do mention that you know you were seen with both of them both times um and that they saw you being taken home by mason um I guess, you know, and then there's, you know, notes that you basically had no real contact to them before stuff happened. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thank you. All right. I will, um, I will, I will put, I will put that in my back door to send it back. Back through the back, the back door? Back through the back door. All right. Henry wants to put things in the back door. In his back door in particular, we're all going to note yeah. that. Um, yes. 
Because it's, like, it's, 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 it's a great old. way to store things. Small little around, is. you know. Right, Hostile you know. Who, who's going to go into your back door to check for things like that? <sighs> there we go. You might have a bane for it. You should be careful. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, the back door well, banes. <laughs> All right. Um, so, uh, let us screen wipe over to Dolores. Dolores, you, well, have 95% new employees working there in your mailroom now. Um, yeah, you are, like, like before, the mail center is in the basement level next to the lab, you know. Uh, you, you know, you notice the door that would lead into there that's kind of like the door no one opened back at the old place, but you've seen where it leads when the walls melted last time. Yeah, well, let's hope nothing comes out of it next time. Just right. going to be facing it, I guess, this time now, just to be prepared in case something goes up. Right, something to keep an eye on. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. Right. Um... Oh, anything else going on? Right. Well, you do have, you know, there are a couple, there are a couple of people left that used to work with you that'll, you know, they they talk to you like uh, it's, a, you know, they they mention that there was the lab explosion is what the ones that survived call what happened last week, um, apparently, um, and you know if you ask them details they just say like you know they shut it all out that kind of thing boy that was crazy wasn't it um, yeah we had to evacuate the building it was awful right yeah one of them mentions it's a it's a good thing you've read the uh, full Magadon employee manual I mean to, to yeah, know the evacuation to... was right there on the, all the doors mm -hmm. emergency exits emergency like you know meeting stations, and so on and so on. Exactly. Um, so that being said, you do, you know, they do end up scurrying off, so you do have time alone with the mailroom here and there if you wanted to, you know, do hard eater stuff. Yeah, I think I'll start working my Deadly Witch Labyrinth, which lets me claim this whole building. But it takes uh, a week to get this going. So I guess I'll start the review mail and cutting myself on all the doors just to leave my blood everywhere and <laughs> so on and so on. Oops. Need to mark my space. Okay. Wow, so you're getting the whole building as a lair instead of just the mailroom. I mean, that, might as well. Yeah, might as well if you have the charms for it. All right, so yeah, you can get that started without any issue. Um, do you notice that as you do that, the the building kind of you swear the building reacts like you swear the building itself doesn't like what you're doing, but you, it's not really something you can make out or actually put like a clear visual to. Mm -hmm. it's just like something about it just dislikes what you're doing I mean the whole world hates me so yes the whole world does hate you so there's nothing new here mm -hmm. oh the misery yes for the moment you mostly you mostly just know that things are eerily back to normal um, in the mailroom Yes, although my paranoia tells me that everybody's just talking about me behind my back. Obviously, that's what they're whispering. Oh, yeah, obviously. Um, you know, that being said, just because you're a heart eater and love this kind of thing, um, you, you do notice that uh, one of the new people just kind of fucks up something. Like, they were supposed to, they filled out a form wrong, and now you have to correct it. You know, that's on you now. Uh, okay, I guess I'll add it to my litany of grudges. <laughs> oh, no. 
You gotta uh, go. Jesus Christ. You gotta go there. I, I, I just have to. Yeah. I mean, it's fairly new, so I have to. Right. <laughs> I mean, it's the wrong brand of stapler on these files. I mean, no. it's a shame that everyone that. Five degree staple. It's a shame that everyone that would deserve it so far ends up like dying. Like you couldn't, you couldn't put the Nexus crawler in because it got ghost eaten. You couldn't put the werewolves in because they got killed with silver and definitely okay, went I down. Okay, I could put the gal on the phone, but I don't know her, so that'd be kind of hard. Then again, I think I have some packing charms. Uh, well, I haven't bought them, but there are some packing charms for people in medicine and regardless to find them. I think you could put her on your list. It would just be, and it would be an ordeal to find her. Well, you know, that's what being cunning is. Everybody just trusts me, and then I'll have to find them when, you know, they, their name comes up from the list. Exactly. Okay. It makes things lots of fun. It's cool. I'm sure you'll you'll manage. All right. Um, so, yeah, back to Mason. Mason, you notice that the you know, genetically modified woman that led the first team that, you know, checked up on you after the initial event um, is in charge here. You know, that's that's a notable difference from, you know, the... You basically had a, you know, at the initial place, you just had kind of like a security detail. Everyone did their job, and there was a manager you would call on the phone that never actually showed up, that kind of thing. No, she is here, right. and she's making sure shit gets done right. She's like, she's taking she's taking you through the uh, back of the manual. <laughs> I see. So we're doing training and preparing us. Is she preparing us for anything in particular? Like... She's, when werewolves attack. she's making sure that you're prepared in case anything else happens here. Because apparently they can't just assume nothing will happen in their smaller offices. Apparently, yeah. So, refresher training. Okay. Yeah. Um, what did I... Sorry, I need to check really quick. I believe I wanted her to be a specific type of Fomori, and I can't remember what type it was. Eh, I still can't see it. Alright, I'm not going to spend, you know, an hour looking for it. Um, but you do notice that she is, like, she drives she drives everyone but you too hard. Did I? Just, oh, okay. Yeah, you know, yeah. you you can keep up because you're you, but like the the non modified, mostly mortal team that's otherwise stationed here, they're they're not able to keep up. You know, you're doing like, um. Obviously, there's not a ton of space around the office, but she's, you know, making you work out. Like, put you know, give me fifty, and you know then go over this next part of the handbook and how you would deal with this kind of thing. There's an empty office room. You're dealing with a fake shooter scenario where she ends up being the shooter and takes everyone out um, pretty easily right. other than possibly you. You know, like I said, you keep up. You know, it's on and off. You're There's give and take there. Um, right. And, you know, if you want to really push to see if you can make even her look bad, you can make, I don't know, any sort of role, but if you'd rather not be it's quite so obvious, you can... It's important not to make the boss look bad, even right. if you can. Yes. You can You can <laughs> avoid making the boss look bad, but also avoid looking untrained and crappy without any role. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> that's just, you know, exalted level of stamina keeping you in the game. Yes. You know, you'd have to fake being completely wiped out. <laughs> So Roland saw me of something, something, and the old stealth slash whatever subterfuge. Mm -hmm. Those are not exactly cast skills for me. Right. Exactly. So with that, well, yeah, not, he's not pretending to be bad though. <laughs> so with that being the, uh, that that's basically how all of your days are going to be going. Is there anything you would all? like to be doing during this first day, you know, during or 
you know, during the normal activities or like in breaks or lunchtime or whatnot? Uh, if they put us on patrol in the building, I might at some point turn on Umbral Sight and just sort of look through the place to see if any more demons are lurking in the spirit world. All right. Uh, as opposed to elsewhere, yeah. And the answer maybe is don't. yes, probably. <laughs> yeah. Do you have maybe, to maybe to see whether you see blood stains everywhere? <laughs> uh, to look into the umber, I just spend a willpower point. Okay. Um, then yes, there. This this it's not as bad as if you would have looked at the previous place, but one thing you notice a lot of are. Um, metallic, rusty-looking spiders that are crawling over all of the walls and around the building, and they are creating these weird shimmering webs that if you look close, like from far away, they look like these perfect, like, metallic threaded structures. Um, but if you get close, you see those threads also have that strange rusty degradation to them. Okay. Um, I will, you know, make a note of that, but it's good to know. I mean, I'm not in the Umbra. It's not like they can see me. I can just peek past it and sort of walk through. Yep, they're not They're not bothering with anyone. You know, they don't seem yeah. to be peeking at you or anything. You do notice there are a few more around um, Henry's, you know, the IT room. Like, right. that, that area has a lot from, yeah. more of that thread around it. I'll, I'll refrain from mentioning that where all the microphones can hear us, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course alright um, anything the rest of you would like to be doing um... no I don't think I'm fine I mean I have my week cut out for me right. I know what I want to do actually it's real simple mm -hmm. um who is the person who would be in charge of like, um, like my like moving my like my supervisor? Would they be? Um, you know what? No, I'm going to give them a call, and I'm going to be talking about like just something mundane about work. Um, but I'm going to try to mind spider. Okay, like your your uh, infernal charm that with them if they look at a screen or whatnot uh yeah or if they like hold like a, a speaker up to their ear right right do 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 um my other question obviously my character wouldn't know this but uh if they're a creature of darkness of course i know it's different mm, okay it will have to see you because like if they're you're calling them that some of those might not activate oh goodness let me double check here and da -da. may transparent essence their piece who's yeah may select a target who's staring in front or feeding in front directly into his ear i mean it says i have to select target it doesn't say i have to see him but yeah, staring at the let's see may transfer through a piece of electrons and directly into it i would say if you're the one calling them you can use it through the phone you exactly. know you can't yeah you can't like make it appear 10 miles away to someone you're not in any way contacted with, but yeah, through the phone makes sense. So, all right. Um, is the uh, the difficulty? All right. Uh, they are a creature of darkness, but and their willpower is eight. So. Oh my! All right, they're they're a tough one. Um, yes, you're. I mean, you were already. You're already like you know. They were kind of demoting you, but you were still kind of in charge of that of the IT for this office. So, yeah, and especially since they put you back up to like where you were, so they can better probe you. You, the one right above you, needs to know what they're doing. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Um. Okay. Well, I, it's I don't know if I think I just roll and then I determine what I tell them. Or what I can tell them to do. Yeah, hold on. Let me double check it really quick. Do, do, do one or two. Well. Yeah, because it's, it's, yeah, it's I'd say you roll first, and then you can figure yeah. out which one is this. Mind spider. spider curse. Mind spider. Four successes. Heck yeah! 
Alrighty. Anything that wouldn't endanger themselves or a loved one. What okay. Would, what would you like him to do? Um, I want to get a pay raise, a real one, um, and uh, get possibly get uh, promoted. This doesn't need to happen immediately, but he needs to advocate for it. Gotcha. So put in for a pay raise and a good word towards a promotion? Yes. All right. Yeah, that seems reasonable. That's not going to... Okay. Yeah, that's not going to cause him any danger. Nothing significant, at least. All right. So, yeah, you talked to him. That's so, fun. yeah, he's like... Your supervisor is like a middle-aged guy. Um, you know, he's... They, they wouldn't call him the supervisor. He's like... Or they wouldn't call him your supervisor. He's like the, you know, the IT supervisor for this district of this sub-district of this... You know. Um, but yeah, you talk to him and he seems pretty am amenable, you know, as he listens to your wonderful droning voice. Right, and we're not even talking about anything like that again. I'm just talking about, like, oh yeah, I know things are handled here. The network's going good. You know, I did this, I did that. Um, just wanted to let you know. Any questions? No. Sounds good. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll send you an I'll send you an email of the meeting times for this coming week. Ah, perfect. Thank you. Hey, you have a good day. Yeah. You too. And j just to note, he is like... He is like the most boring person in the world. Like, boring to the... Boring to the extent of boring mm. being a personality trait that's interesting. <laughs> Banality. Yes. Oh. If you were a changeling, it would hurt to talk to him. Oh, Nasty. Uh. Yeah, I, I I hang up. Um but kind of like looking one like in wonder kind of at my phone like did that I think that worked? Yeah. So it, assuming you do that like early in the day, by the end of the day you do get a notification that you're getting the pay raise at least, you know, pretty Holy immediately. Holy shit. Holy yeah. fuck. Beautiful. Okay, that um, <clears throat> that gets me thinking. Uh, okay, I, I resume my normal my normal work duties. Yeah. Nothing. So uh, you can bump up your resources. I see no reason why that would particularly. Shit. Oh, I didn't think it was gonna be that much. Um, okay. You you hit him pretty hard. <laughs> All right. Fuck yeah. Now see yeah. your former boss packing his things to take you over his desk. <laughs> <laughs> no. but basically, you got the pay raise as if you got the promotion, but you don't have the promotion yet. I see. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this is probably one of those things where, like, they, they give me a token duty related to the upper Right. Thing. Just to be like, all right, there's a trial period. You've got Whatever. senior developer. Ah, I like it. Beautiful. Make up new titles. Yeah, that's a very corporate. Thing. <laughs> yeah, and then you get the ex you get the outstanding achievement award. Oh, <laughs> and you get it was a third monitor for your desk. Oh, Ooh, that's the good stuff. Oh, the illustrious. I don't know. That has monitor. to be that has to be approved by IT. And <laughs> that's yeah, I said the request. It's really hard to get the third monitor. Really hard. I will though. Someday. <laughs> fucking sick that, that went even better than I, I fucking imagined this is a good start guys my taking over the company is going to be real easy <laughs> my superpower is ruling this IT group sorry what was that Peter I was doing the IT crowd who's the server vampire <laughs> I don't plan to do a ton of vampire stuff unless you all really purposely get into it. And and the reason for that is because every Exalted versus World of Darkness game I ever hear about is go kill all the vampires. Or go kill most of a subset of vampires, at least. I mean, because... a really easy go-to. Yeah, everybody plays Masquerade. It's a simple system, so everybody goes to the false of this. Right. Yeah. Oh, I, I get it. Don't Don't get me wrong. I definitely get it, but... Yeah. I, I'm purposely going a different direction to make things difficult for myself. 
Because okay. of course I have. Like in that game, it's like, oh yes, we go against werewolves and mages, so on. Hey, Devon, did you read the new mage? No. Well, I guess we're not going after mages. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I know so, the mage decently, and werewolf is... Werewolf is, I gotta read the gifts before I send you in combat against them. Um, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so, with that being the case, I think we can wind down for now... And, like, next time we'll get into you all kind of coming together after day one of work, and then we'll, you know, really give you some strings to tug at at that point. Um, all right. Sounds good. So, yeah, with that being the case, thank you, everyone, for listening. This has been Chris Falco with Falconian Productions, and you've been listening to Exalted vs. World of Darkness Pentex.